I seek the truth because I seek Jesus. Speaking about the sex scandals, pedophilia, priests molesting, bishops covering up those molestations. Yes, if it is true, and it is in many parts of the world, very true. It is one of the most dirtiest scandals ever that has come out into the open. But there is so much for us to dig within our own lives. What about the scandal of us being unfaithful to Christ? What about, the, what about the scandal of us being unfaithful to the church? What about the scandal about us gossiping about priests and nuns and bishops and even the Pope? What about, what about us teaching the wrong false doctrine to people who are at the verge of leaving the church? Encouraging people to leave the Catholic Church and follow various other cults? What about those scandals? What about, what about those times when we were supposed to stand by our priests, help them morally, spiritually, pray for them? Help them in their pastoral work, assist them in their ministerial work as priests. Aren't we kings, prophets and priests as well as lay people? Aren't we supposed to be governing the church with prudence and wisdom from the Holy Spirit? Aren't we supposed to be prophetic in our language, in our prayer? Aren't we supposed to be holy and righteous as priests? My dear friends, it is easy to complain. It is easy to gossip. And it is definitely right on our part to ask answers, to seek answers. It is definitely right on our part to question people, especially people of authority. Those people who have authority over our souls, for the well-being of our souls. If they are wrong, it is our moral obligation. It is the duty of our conscience to question them. But first, let us ask our own conscience if we have been faithful to Christ. Because if we don't ask that question, we will never understand the sorrow, we will never understand the situation of those who have perpetrated these scandals, these problems, these evils. Nor will we understand the heart, the mind and the physical suffering of the victims of these evil works. My dear friends, it is very important for us, especially at this time, at the time when the church is being dragged on the streets, molested on the streets, abused on the streets and being questioned whether we are truly so-called children of God, whether we are truly so-called disciples of God. It is time for us to contemplate on our own self. Is Christ really living in me? Am I able to defend my faith by way of living my faith authentically? If I have to question my priest, if I have to question my bishop, if I even have to question my pope, do I have the audacity to question my way of Catholic living? Have I examined my conscience? Have I reconciled with my God personally? And I, have I helped my neighbor to reconcile with God? My dear friends, I'm not here to discourage people who are so enthusiastic right now to speak against so many people, so many clergymen, so many leaders in the Catholic Church. They have not even spared the Pope. I'm not here to tell them to stop doing it. Nor am I here to advocate some general agenda or to make a promotional video about the Catholic Church and how great it is. I am here to remind myself and you who is watching me and listening to me that it is time, in fact it is high time for us to be authentic, authentically the militant church, authentically warriors of Christ, live our Catholic lives to the fullest. If we have to question, we need to question God if we have to question, we need to question him because he is our father and we as children have every right to question him and ask him what it is that I have to do to make myself worthy of your kingdom. What it is that I can do by whose example my neighbor will return back to the Catholic Church. What is it that I can do as a lay person looking at whom my priest can become holy, can strive to be holy, will strive to be a good shepherd will practice his pastoral responsibility to his fullest. What can I do for the church as a saint living here on earth? 
May the Lord bless us. May the Lord provide for us. May the Holy Spirit guide us. May the precious blood of Christ deliver us and sanctify us and purify us and empower us. So that the light of the Catholic Church be followed by one and all. And may Christ, who is King of heaven and earth, reign in our hearts. And the snares of the devil be banished into the deepest pits of hell forever. I make this prayer with you watching as witness. In the name of Jesus, my Lord and Savior, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.